<laughs> you guys like my shirt? <laughs> Got it from Amazon. Anyways, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing Andy Warhol cans. I know what you're thinking, though. Mr. Mill, didn't we do this in kindergarten or in first grade? The answer is yes. I'm bumping it up so we can do a more advanced version. So let's get going. <laughs> So the reason why I picked Andy Warhol cans again is because I feel like the older we get, um, I think we can get more advanced and talk about how Andy Warhol was more of a symbol when it comes to advertising and uh, what he did was iconic. So anyways, um, I just want to talk about it real quick and the reason why we're doing it. And by the way, we're doing this with fourth and fifth grade. So this is going to be a double uh, grade level lesson. And I think if you guys watched the other video, you guys will know why I'm doing this. So anyways, that's more for my sanity and for me to be more mentally healthy. But anyways, that's besides the point. The point is, you guys are doing Andy Warhol cans. Anyways, Andy Warhol was a pop artist, and uh, most cons most people considered him a modern artist as well. And he did um, simple objects such as like bananas. He did a Marilyn Monroe where it was like different hues. And he did Campbell uh, Campbell's soup cans. So the reason why he did Campbell's soup cans was to make a statement of how sometimes everyday objects can be the mundane and how we can be seen as art. Because uh, advertising was art, and when you look at, at the public eye, um, this might be really deep when I'm talking about this, I used to be an art history major, um, is that it's viewed as just branding. And what he did is that he made it look more like art, and he kind of changed the perception of people, of how people look at everyday objects. So anyways, I want to do cans in a certain way, and you guys can change it up any way you want, uh, but it has to be a can. But let me talk about the requirements and how we're going to do this. So anyways, um, as you can see, there's different sizes here. I've been doing any Warhol cans uh, with multiple grade levels before in the past. Uh, in like way back in the day, in like eight or I think eight or nine years ago, I used to do it this big with like older kids. And then I bumped it all the way down to like first grade or kindergarten. And then it started to go like this, like this size, already pre-cut. Uh, but for you guys, we're just going to draw it on a piece of paper, so that's what you're going to need. So you're going to need a piece of paper, something to draw with, and that's it. A coloring, again, is optional for this. Uh, if you guys are wondering where this idea came from, uh, this is a picture of Andy Warhol. And over here is a picture of how some of these cans are. I think he did a couple, so I'll put a couple here. So anyways, that's that. Let me move these aside for you guys. We don't need to see that. Okay. So over here is my blank sheet of paper, and I'm going to show you guys how to do the can first. So what you're going to need is a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, use the side of a marker or side of a binder. And I'm just going to kind of create vertical lines with a pencil just to mark off where they are. So one right here and then another one on the other side. Right about there. I kind of eyeballed it. So there we are. So now I want to curve the bottoms, but I want to make sure they're even. So I'm going to try to put a dot right here right there and then I'm gonna put another dots somewhere on the top I'm gonna put a little bit lower right there I think that's a good spot all right I know I'm doing this in pencil so you can't really see what I'm doing I will change to marker right now so it'll be a little uneven but it's okay I'll use a thick marker to give it more depth all right so I went from here to here so that's pretty even and this will be even in parallel with the other end there we go. Oh, I messed up a little bit over here, but that's okay. And then to make it more three-dimensional, I'm going to curve the bottom just like so. Just like that. And then I'm going to create a little bit of a lip by kind of creating a little bit of a curve on each side and then connecting them together. Because cans normally have a little lip on the bottom where the metal kind of meets. All right, I will do the same exact thing on the top. I'm going to curve, but I'm going to go the same direction. Just like so. Oh, it looks like kind of went too low, but it's all right. Go back the same way I came. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go from one end and to the other end with just a curved top like this. And then uh, this is where it gets kind of confusing uh, where the top ends. So you might want to zoom in. I'll zoom in for you guys. Um, so what I'm gonna do on the top is I'm gonna kind of create an oval really close to what I just did. Just like this. And then inside that oval, I'm going to create an upwards curve connecting one end to the other. 
that way head is more of like a lip going downwards. And then last but not least, I'm going to kind of create two ovals in the inside. One that's not as complete and one that is complete. And it looks a little off center. But anyways, that's what happens when you do it in permanent marker. <laughs> All right, the can itself is done. Now, what I want to do is find a circular object to put in the middle to mimic Andy Warhol's uh, uh, Campbell Soup cans. But we're going to put our own logo in it. So I want to do this bucket right here. And I'm going to trace it to the best of my ability. Make sure it's centered. All right, I think that's centered. And again, you probably should do this in pencil. But I'm doing it in marker so you guys can see it on camera a little better. And there we are. All right, now I'm going to kind of create curves on the sides of them to divide the sections up. And then I'm going to create kind of more curves to resemble that there's a label going around it. So just like this. So one right here and then another on top, just like so. All right, now it looks like there's a label wrapped around the metal portion of the can. And now we're ready to design the label. So let's get going. So first of all, we need a couple things. We can take a look at some of the old cans here. Let's take a look at this big one. Actually, let's take a look at this big one. These two big ones right here. This one I think I did from long ago. And this is from a kid from quite a long ago too. Um, it looks like there's a couple things that we want to make note of. Of uh, the name. Uh, what's inside and how much is inside and what in, what specifically is inside the can. So why don't we do that? So why don't I put net weight over here? So net and then WT. And on this side, I'm gonna put a good amount of ounces here. Why don't I do um, 8.0 ounces? Sounds reasonable. <laughs> I don't know, I think that's a little less than what I want. But uh, that's it. Uh, why don't I create a logo at the very end? So now what you can do is you can either put the word Campbell's here or your own name. So I'm going to put my own name, obviously. I'm going to put Mr. Mills. So I'm going to do bubble letters. You guys remember the bubble letter project from the worksheet or the packet? You can kind of copy that. So here is Mr. And here's Mills. And I only have one L in my name. Thank you very much. A lot of people get my name confused with two L's. That's okay though. Mr. Mills and then blank blank. So now I gotta think about what I want. So before in the past, for the younger grades, um, we've done stuff based on character, which says like trustworthiness, caring, fairness, like that. So Mr. Mills carrying beans. Uh, for you guys, you guys can do whatever you want. If you guys wanna keep it with nice characters, you can. I'm gonna do something a little different. And then. We'll go from there. So why don't I do Mr. Mills? Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm gonna put hot. And of course, you probably should do this in pencil. Hot <laughs> salsa. Salsa mix, I guess? Or blend. I should have wrote down the word blend. That's okay. All right, and then I can decorate this any way I want. Now, here's a cool thing about this project. Uh, the inside label can kind of be based off of your idea of what you put inside the can. Or you can just do your own label if you want. Something with Fortnite or something, or I don't know. But I think the more logical thing is to do it based on what you have in there. So since it's hot salsa mix, I'm gonna do maybe like something like a simple fireball or a bowl of hot salsa. So why don't I do that? I'll draw a bowl. Here's my bowl. Here is the random salsa in there with a bunch of uh, chunks in there like that. And then I'm gonna draw the outside of the bowl like this. Here we are. It's kind of a lopsided bowl. Why don't I make it more? There, yeah, it looks like a pattern kinda. And then the table. It's on, and then some flames. I don't know. There you go. <laughs> All right, hot salsa. All right. I think the majority of my designs done. I think I'm gonna create some stars here to make it more decorative. I think there were stars in the original soup can. Um, 
on the bottom, but I don't have enough room on mine. I should have left room and moved the word mix up a little higher and smaller, but I didn't do that, so I don't have the opportunity to do that. Oh no, I ran out of room. That's okay, I'll just curve it up and pretend that it's on the other side of the can. All right, now I think I'm done. So anyways, um, I'm gonna go color it and we'll go from there. So I might have to speed up the video, so here we go. I'm done. Yeah, I mean, I could color more, but I kind of want to leave the rest white. But anyways, that is my idea of Campbell's soup can for this year. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this project. It's a nice throwback. Um, if I were you, I'd probably take an eraser and clean it up a little bit. Maybe clean up your uh, pencil lines like how I did not do. That's what I'm doing right now. But anyways, <laughs> there, now it's nice and clean. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.